Welcome to Digital Toolbox. This is part 7 of the case study for Building 5. And we're going to extrude walls for this tutorial. And to do this, before you guys start to extrude, you guys have to make sure that the surfaces are, cl or the polylines are closed. So then when we extrude the walls, they become solids, and not um, surfaces or planes. And then after you guys close every curve that you want to extrude, select walls and then select the um, sub sub layer and I'm going to name the sub layer as extrude extruded walls extruded wall 1 and then to select the, all the walls in floor 1 I'm just going to right click on walls and then click on select objects and then make sure that the extruded walls is selected and I'm going to type in extrude curve and then Scott and I measured the floor to ceiling height which is 14 feet so I'm going to type in 14 and then hit enter so now all the walls are extruded now for this section of the um, the area we didn't close off the curve because because we don't we're going to delete this anyway so don't worry about this but if you guys don't close the curve, um, then all the lines will be extruded as surfaces or planes. But don't worry about that. We're we're gonna um, fix this area first because the door is not gonna be 14 feet high. It's just gonna be 80 inches. So we need to close off this this gap here. And to do that, we can type in move, and then it'll load up some options. And then we're gonna go to move face, and then we're gonna select the face we want to move. I'm just going to move it to here. And then there's a surface that I'm going to delete. And then I'm going to take these two solids and then I'm going to join them or union them. And once it's union, we still have these lines. And to clean up these lines, I'm just going to go to solid and then go to solid edit, edit tools, faces, and then click on merge all faces. So once it's merged, um, it'll look clean and we'll have to do this for every gap if you guys are sticking with just the plain walls the next tutorial we're going is that we're going to do is um, we're going to make a panel that's four by eight and then we're going to chamfer the edges so it looks like concrete panels and thanks for watching